Hi, my name is Gleb Alexandrov, and on this episode, we'll talk about Bokeh. It will be introduction to Bokeh for CG artist, as you can read on the title. Uh, first of all, I'm not sure how this word is pronounced. I suspect that is Bokeh, but it may be Bokeh. Anyway, here's the definition. The way the lens renders out-of-focus points of light. Let's look at some examples. Here we have a three renders, actually two renders and one photo on the right. The background is out of focus, it is blurred, but it's not just a Gaussian blur like in uh, Photoshop filter. You can see the distinguishable circular pattern of light and that's bokeh. So that out of focus points of light can be of different shapes. In photography, it depends on the number of blades in the aperture. Of course, in Blender we don't have an aperture, but we're still able to simulate it. And as you can see, we can control the shape of the highlights. Okay, and how can I use these bokeh in my renders? Let's look at some examples. First of all, you can use bokeh and depth of field to separate the subject from the background. And as a side effect of this separation, you achieve the abstract background. Also, bokeh can be used to enhance the depth impression. This effect gives another clue to the viewer of the 3D space of the image. And of course, you can use bokeh to achieve this holiday lights effect. You probably can remember thousands of images like that. Another very interesting thing is that bokeh and the depth of field is linked to photography itself. So if you're trying to simulate the photoreal imagery, try using bokeh. And of course, bokeh can be used for all kinds of illustrative, creative effects, like you see here. Okay, now when you have an idea of where can you use a bokeh, how to do it in Blender? And nothing can be simpler. As you see here, I'm creating an empty, which will serve as a focus point, and then I'm increasing the radius for the aperture of the depth of field in the cycles camera. And instantly you can see that we apply the bokeh effect. And now I'm just moving the focal point by snapping it to various objects in the scene. And I'd like to point out one more time that our focal point is the empty. Fine, let's add some lights to demonstrate the bokeh effect more clearly. Okay, here we go. Now we have some lights and you can see how it affects the bokeh in the background. So I hope this little introduction to bokeh effect was useful to you. I'm Gleb Alexandrov and you can read the full article at creativestream.com. Thanks so much for watching this crap and goodbye.